Happening today, a traffic project 12 years in the making finally completed in University City. Fox at Jacqueline Sarkeesian explains how it could help drivers. Jacqueline. Hi, good morning. Yeah, can you guys imagine waiting 12 years for something? A lot of people living in this area say it was such a safety issue, especially since there's a park directly across from this neighborhood, making it extremely challenging for kids to cross the street and go play at that park. So I'm talking about the intersection of Governor Drive and Lakewood Street. Residents have been pushing for a traffic light to be installed in this area for more than a decade. So here we are 12 years later. It is finally happening. The lights are up, but they're not officially turned on just yet. I would imagine that's happening when there's a press conference taking place in about 30 minutes from now. So people living in this area say that this has become a major safety issue. Many drivers going well beyond the speed limit. And since there was no light or stop sign, there was nothing slowing them down. So the issue had been getting progressively worse as the area expanded with new high rises and the growth of the Westfield UTC mall. Some believe the reason it took so long Money, of course, a new light can cost a minimum of $300,000 to install, and the total cost of this project said to be a little more than $550,000. So that traffic project you guys mentioned is the installation of these traffic signals right here at the intersection of Governor Drive and Lakewood Street in this neighborhood of University City. They're officially going to start working around 930 this morning. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Jacqueline Sarkeesian, thank you.